Hello everybody, it's Dre here and welcome to a tutorial video. In today's tutorial video is how to use the Beef Me 2 HD edition with Rise of the Witch King and with Game Ranger. I'll be going over both of those, so if you're interested in that, stick around. I've been asked many times, of course, why do my units look different than everyone else's? I installed 2.02 Rise of the Witch King, my units don't look like that. That's because I am using an HD edition of Rise of the Witch King, which isn't released as of the, this video's recording, of course, but you can basically get all of the units from the base game, Beef Me 2, that do have skins in the HD edition for Beef Me 2 to work on Rise of the Witch King. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so let's get to it. First thing you're going to need is, of course, the HD edition. If you don't have that for some reason, well, then uh, go download that. I'll leave a link to this page here. This is where the Beef Me 2 HD Edition is. You're going to want to download the HD Edition version 1.1. You don't need the other one. So click on that, of course. Download now. And you'll get your download, etc. So, and that'll give you this file here. It's an .exe file. It's very easy to install. Pretty straightforward. But we'll go over that anyway. Next, you're going to need this file here. And this file is the file that allows you to play these things on Game Ranger and uh, in the Age Edition on the Rise of Witch King. Age of the Ring Game Ranger patch. This has nothing to do with Age of the Ring in particular, this video, but you do need this file. So stick with me. We're going to need to download this. And that, of course, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. We'll give you uh, this zip file here. And what this contains, of course, is a executable file, which is right here. I'm just going to throw this away, actually. We'll start over. So you're going to want to open this with some sort of zip uh, extractor or whatever, like WinZip or RIM or whatever you use to extract zip files. Whatever works best for you. You can just open it up. I use 7-zip, personally. Works pretty well. And it's free. But... That's uh, that's another thing. We have, of course, the HD Edition file. We're going to want to install the HD Edition first, so I suggest doing that. I'm not going to go over a full tutorial of how to install the HD Edition. It's pretty straightforward. You run the installer, install it where your game is. I would suggest leaving it where it tells you it is, unless you installed your game in some weird place. Then you might have to edit that, but I would, generally speaking, I wouldn't mess around with where you install the game. Because it generally causes more problems than anything else. Okay, once your HD edition is installed for your Beef Me 2, you're going to, of course, want Beef Me 2 installed and Rise of Witch King if you haven't figured that out by now. So I would hope you had those installed first. Next, we're going to want to get this patch out. This will be what's in this patch. All we're going to need is this loader Beef Me 2 EP1 file. So we're going to want to extract that out of there. And you can basically put this anywhere. This is going to be what your game will run from, from now on. So if you, you might want to put it in like a file that says Rise of the Witch King or something. Or you could, I don't know, keep it on your desktop. I'm going to keep it on my desktop for this tutorial, just to make it easy on us. So when you run this, you'll notice it pops up. Well, this will all be blank. Yours will be blank. You'll be like, okay, what the hell is this? Well, this is the Game Ranger command line flag tool. Basically, this allows you to launch mods and such with Game Ranger or even without Game Ranger. It also works offline with Game Ranger not involved at all. So, what you're going to need is uh, some text. I will leave this text in the link in the uh, description below the video, along with the downloads for these things also. So what will be there? Uh, so this top line here, it's game executable. This is, of course, what your uh, what your Rise of the Witch King launches from. So that will be where your game is installed. Mine is in Program Files eighty six, Electronic Arts, Lord of the Rings, Rise of the Witch King, and then Loader Beef Me Two EP One EXE. What you'll notice has the same name as this. 
But there is already one in your Rise of the Witch King folder. That is that is the original one, and that's what what you're gonna wanna basically point to. Uh, there it is right there. So we're gonna wanna take this text here. Uh, this text here. So I would copy this and paste it. Assuming you have your game installed, your Rise of the Witch King installed here, you're gonna wanna copy that, paste that here. If it's in a different place, edit, of course, as you need to. And that should be fine for the game executable. And this extra flags, that's the second part you're gonna wanna need. And there'll be this linked in the description below as well. You're gonna wanna copy this here, this line. Mod, C users, obviously your name is not Kevin like mine, but whatever your computer's name is, app data roaming, download two TM files, HD edition big. This is where the HD edition installs itself, this directory here. So, you wanna paste that there. And now, when we press start game, all right, it should pop up and uh, your Rise of Witch King should launch. And it should show a splash screen of Beef Me 2 HD Edition first, and then it should say Beef Me 2 HD Edition on the top, on the title screen. Well, you'll notice we have the Rise of Witch King background, and if you go to options, we're in 2.02 version 8 of Rise of Witch King. So, it's showing, it is working. We have Beef Me 2 units all looking fancy in our Rise of the Witch King. And I'll just go in here and show you real quick, just to, just to prove it. Probably should have picked Dwarves or Elves. They have the most noticeable units to do so. And after this, I will show you how to do it through Game Ranger. It's pretty much the building? same thing. There's a good well, place. Go it is. A notable character. Faramir looks pretty different. No, Aragorn, of course. Aragorn looks very different. So I'll just build this up real quick. You can skip ahead the video if you don't need some sort of visual proof that this is actually working. But it should be, in theory, working flawlessly. And if it is, well, that's great. Probably should have just had a map ready with the Erdorn <laughs> already standing up. Rohan Spearman looked very different in the HD edition. Oh, that's where I was going to They will actually not look. Any, any Rise of the Witch King unit will not have an HD texture. So, don't expect that. It's just the units that are in the base game. So, like Tower Guards, Thunder Soldiers. Every Man of the West hero is going to be covered. If you're Dwarves, you're Prince Brand, or King Brand, whatever, he will look, of course, vanilla. But everything else will be all HD edition. There you go, there's some HD edition. Beef Me Too Gondor Soldiers. And we're in Rise of the Witch King. Using the Beef Me Too HD edition. So it is possible. It's not some sort of wizardry. I will go with you to the end. Of course, Aragorn in his really cool armor there. There we go. Excellent. Now with that, let's go back to the desktop. And we will uh, um, do the Game Ranger. I'll show you the Game Ranger thing real quick. So you can, of course, play it on Game Ranger. Because most of you are probably going to want to play on Game Ranger with the Beef Me 2 HD Edition on Rise of the Witch King. So you're going to, of course, want to get Game Ranger open. You're going to want to go to Edit and Options here. I'll try to do this quick. You're going to want to go to Games and scroll down so you see Rise of the Witch King here. And you're going to want to click Browse. And you're going to want to find this file here. Uh, this thing we put on our desktop here. You're going to want to find where you put that. Ours, of course, is on the desktop. So I just click that. Now, when you launch your Rise of the Witch King, every time you want to la uh, launch Rise of the Witch King, this window will now pop up before it starts a game. And you're going to want to make sure the Information is correct in there, and it's basically the same thing. You press start game, and it'll launch your Game Ranger lobby game, just like normal. There's just one little extra step. So it's not too big of a deal, especially since you get to play with the HD edition. And that is it. That is literally it. So hopefully that has been helpful. 
And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, leave a like if it's worked for you. If you didn't, well, uh, leave a comment. Maybe I can help you out. Maybe not. I can't guarantee any help. But we'll see. You know. Anyway, catch you all next time.